Come together right now over me. <laughs> ah, yes, the Beatles, the Beatles. And yes, I do still have my tag from this new shirt that I got from Roosevelt's. Uh, please sponsor me. I, it's, I, I'm totally not naked. It's not like I'm wearing a, a dress shirt without no, without pants or underwear. Anyways, the Beatles Rock Band was a video game that came out a while ago. 2009. My God, that's when Michael Jackson died. The audacity that Harmonix and, and the Beatles' estate had to release the Beatles Rock Band. September, too. Literally a month after Michael Jackson died. Jesus. Anyways, I'm just I'm just I'm just busting bees. I'm I'm just busting C's, busting chops, anyways. Yeah, this is um one of these videos, okay, that I just had to make, okay? And it's very similar to the previous uh, this previous video I made talking about the trailer to Gears of War. Basically, the premise is things that give me chills. And this video, this commercial actually, to be accurate, is one of those that gives me chills. It It is incredible. It's short. It's 30 seconds. But it is one of the best 30 seconds you could you will ever experience, okay? For those of you who don't know, the Beatles rock band is... Uh, I mean, I'm sure you're familiar with Guitar Hero. Rock band is in the same vein, of course. Um, but in this case, it was a video game with just Beatles songs. And, I mean, come on. Can you get any better than that? I mean, Guitar Hero, of course, had Metallica, Aerosmith... But Rock Band was like, we're going to go with the Beatles. And they got it. And it was it was one of the best things ever. The drum set even looked like Ringo Starr. And, and actually, a couple months ago, maybe three or so months ago, I, I was just obsessed with getting the full set, sort of. So I ended up getting, like, the Ludwig drums and the uh, John Lennon guitar as well. And there's another, uh, you could get the bass guitar from Paul McCartney as well, and that, that was always something I wanted to get, but I was like, nah, I'm not gonna be that guy. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the guitar, okay? I'm gonna get the guitar. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's awesome, it's fantastic, uh, and it's a lot of fun to play. It really is. Super challenging, but very fun to play. And it just really gave me a lot of nostalgia, because originally I played it on the Wii. I never got to play, like, the, the high-definition versions of the games, so, you know... <laughs> I bought the PlayStation 3 version. Anyways, yes, this this commercial, I do remember actually seeing this commercial. I'm not sure if I saw it when I was a kid on YouTube, but I do remember seeing it when I was younger, and it definitely made an impression on me. And it gives me chills, like I said. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch it, react to it, of course, and then we're going to analyze it. It's very simple. But here we go. It's only 30 seconds, but like I said, one of the best 30 seconds. So here we go. Three, two, one. Meet the Beatles, rock the world. The Beatles Rock Band, available 9909. Rated T for teen. That's it. That's fucking it. But oh my god. Like, <laughs> I mean, first of all, you, you start with the Abbey Road, you know, classic walk, crosswalk, and you got Paul McCartney's feet. I mean, come on. And then all of a sudden, you see a little bit of the of every beetle, right? And it looks so real, but yet so dreamlike. And it's very accurate to actually the game, because the game has a lot of dreamlike sequences, usually for songs that, you know, were never really played live, like I Am The Walrus. And this commercial is very dreamlike, and it has that kind of, you know, again, that, that sort of dream aesthetic to the filter, and which is very similar to the game. But also, given the fact that, you know, some of these people have passed away, some of these Beatle members, it's really romantic in a way, in a beautiful way. Not, you know, necessarily like lovey-dovey way, but you know what I mean. And we obviously have come together playing in the background, but we have just all these people, just these normal people. At the time, 2009, it was people on the street, normal people. And they're sort of mingling with the Beatles, but the Beatles are just, I don't know, everyone's just kind of like, it really reminds me of All You Need Is Love, right? The sort of community, you know, aspect to Beatles music, where everyone 
comes together. (laughs) I mean, literally. It's just so, like, cozy. It's such a cozy, like, commercial. You have Paul McCartney just kind of casually looking to his left, and it's just beautiful. It looks young and just hip, and, you know, he's at his prime. Well, prime, uh, you know, not really in the Beatles sense, but in the rage, of course. And then you have John Lennon, you know, just kind of smiling, and then you have George Harrison, like, picking up a guitar, you know, that you play with. He looks so like, I don't know, it just, it looks kind of creepy because clearly that's not what he's picking up, but it's so fascinating. It's kind of like in the same way what people are doing now with AI, right? Where they kind of get, you know, they, they fake someone's voice and they put their voice on some other song. It's just creepy. It's like using technology, manipulating it and, and doing with it what you will. And it's weird. I'm surprised that this commercial, the way it, it, it was done. I mean, it's, it's obviously in very good taste. It's very well done, except for maybe the Ringo star uh, when he, when he was kind of waving and did look a little shitty. <laughs> but other than that, everything else looked great. And even then, it's not that bad. It's kind of, you know, creepy in a way. You know, it's just kind of like manipulating these images and, and these videos of these, you know, classic icons, some of them who are passed away. And you're just kind of putting them, you know, at your will, you know, obviously probably the Beatles estate approved this commercial and whatnot. I'm sure a lot of shit went through that, but it's still kind of interesting. I I love it. I'm all for it. I love like the the creepiness aspect of it. And I love the romantic aspect of it. And like I said, it's clearly done in good taste. So I have no problem with it. But um, yeah, I just love that shot of him looking at the guitar. And then it's, you know, again, Ringo Starr just going like, hey, over here. And then everyone, you know crosses the street i i just i love that like that that's so iconic you know and having everyone do it uh and everyone's just jamming out you know and then we cut to to actual footage of the video game and this is like classic shit you know that that one time uh, that one video that i where i spoke about gears of war you know that video game came around this time and um this was at a time where movie trailers and any trailer had, you know, uh, that announcer, right? Because, my God, you know, audiences could never figure out what the fuck they were looking at. We need an announcer. A look that led to an evening. There are times that that worked. Um, there was something really epic and, and, and suave and cool about it. Having an announcer sort of say a few lines and then say the name of the video game on your trailer or even in a movie... Uh, And in this case, the announcer, you know, it wasn't like the classic trailer guy going like the Beatles rock band, you know, like it it wasn't that at all, you know, or like, like, fuck it, like Mission Impossible 3, you know, like it's not that it's it's a classic, like very chill dude going like the Beatles rock band out. Oh, nine, oh, nine. Obviously, you got to you got to get some English dude to do it. (laughs) The Beatles rock band available 9909 rated T for teen you know like but it's awesome it sounds so cool it's like I gotta get whatever that guy's you know talking about you know like it's it just it's so suave it's cool and then you know the music is come on come together is one of the like just coolest tracks ever and then just having that guy you know and the release date as well it's so cool you know september 9th 2009 09 09 09 i mean come the fuck on you know it's just it's so fucking cool i love it gone are the days of of this type of aesthetic you know when it comes to trailers and you know having that that triple date you know with the release and uh and then having that announcer in the background it's just i don't know it's cool i wonder what he says does he say anything else let me see Meet the Beatles, rock the world. Yeah, it's very simple. Meet the Beatles, rock the world. Like that is so so effective. And also, I love the street, the Abbey Road Street, and then you know that's the timeline of the notes from the game. It's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You know, whoever pitched the commercial, you know, like the idea, the essence of this commercial. Hats off to you, my friend. You're probably doing great things. <laughs> it it just really makes me um emotional you know uh, in a way where I, I don't necessarily have to cry or have to fucking start you know belting sadness but it's like this thing of like you know just this classic band really the most iconic band you know i think you can say of all time and again some of these individuals have passed band members and just kind of seeing them again in this way being just respected and to the most nth degree it's again it's just it's magical. It's kind of just beyond words. Um, seeing the images and seeing them interact, sort of like they're still here, 
sort of like they they've come back to life is is really touching and um i loved it i, th I think this is just one of the most incredible video game trailers i've ever seen trailers in general yeah i'm, I'm just looking at the comments right now so uh one of these uh mr ultraman he's pointing out just sort of you know how they put in the the images of the beatles uh where they got the images the video from the video footage which is really interesting uh you know this one person said this always gives me chills when i see this amazing this makes the Beatles live again. It's actually amazing. John Lennon just looks so real. Well, he, he is real. <laughs> um, as an old school Beatles fan, this commercial made my hair stand on end. It truly is a beautiful commercial. So I'm not the only one. And this guy said this 13 years ago, I think at the time that it was uploaded. And the, the top comment here, Danny Gonzalez's toy soldier, me and the boys time traveling to hang out with the Beatles. <laughs> Hell yeah. I've done the crosswalk at Abbey Road. I remember having chills running up and down my spine, and I was giggling as I crossed the street. The Beatles are masters at profiting off of nostalgia, lol. Uh, I love how authentic and real it looks when the girl handed George his guitar. Yeah, I mean, I, I love it. I mean, it's just, you know, the way he looks at it, it's just so mysterious and, like, ethereal and like godly you know it's just it's weird you know because it's not him and it's and well it is him but he's not holding it he's not actually holding that thing you know and that that melding of fake and real is so brilliant and it can be done so badly it's almost it's uncanny in a way right but it's still awesome and 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 just it, it gives me chills and i guess just the idea of of the beatles you know just like this this fucking you know dad rock band in a way right just fucking i don't know diving into the world of video games you know just seeing these characters in the realm of video games is like really fucking cool it's like wow the beatles like video games i don't know it's just that's how it makes sense in my head you know especially when i see george harrison holding that guitar it's just kind of the marriage of two things that would never ever meet the beatles and video games you know but but it happened this is awesome an example of how that doesn't work well, sort of, but not really, uh, is when Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr went out, uh, came out during E3 to announce the game, and you just know that they have no idea what the f they're talking about, but they're promoting something, they're getting paid, whatever. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Thank you. Welcome. It looks like they want us to talk amongst ourselves, Paul. Yeah, I think so. I what do you think of the game? I love it. I love it. It's you love it? Yeah. I okay. can't play it. Thank you. Thank you. The game is good, the graphics are very good, and uh, we were great. Now, uh, it, we love the game, it's fantastic. Who, who, had, who would ever thought we'd uh, end up as androids? I like the way I walk. <laughs> Thank you very much for having us here and uh, having us on your game show. <laughs> we love it, it's wonderful. Anyway, uh, God bless, peace and love. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy the game. But it's still cool. But anyways, those are my thoughts on the Beatles Rock Band commercial spot as uh, Game Helper titled this video. Thank you for uploading this video. You have 51,000 subscribers here. Do you still? Uh, yeah, sort of. Watermark free video game footage. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you, Game Helper. You really are a big help. Anyways, no, seriously, thank you. Thank you, man. You know what? I'm going to subscribe to you. Because you're helping out the community. That's what it is. All right. There we go, everyone. Thank you so much. And actually, oh my God, I'm just seeing it right now. The intro to the Beatles Rock Band video game. Maybe that's another video that we're going to do. The part two. Uh, but that that's another video that gives me chills. The intro to the game. Uh, I'm going to do that probably, you know, sometime in the future. Uh, or let me know if you want to see it. Let me know in the comment section below. But those are my thoughts for the Beatles Rock Band commercial. Thank you so much for watching. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Do you like the commercial? Do you not? Do you think it's weird? Let me know. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content. I do song reactions, analysis, uh, film uh, scene reactions, and analysis. My God, just anal. Anyway, <laughs> I do all kinds of stuff on this channel. Uh, so th there's something for you, for everyone, for your dog, for your cat, for your parrot, whatever. Subscribe. Um, but anyways, uh, share with your Beatles loving friends, of course, uh, but that's it for me. If it's your birthday, happy birthday to you, you beautiful creature. You take care, stay safe, 
And until next time, I love you. Come together.